Hello everyone, today we have new video review with Keith from Tacom. As you can see this is 135 scale model and it would copy famous German vehicle looks in A1 and A2 versions. Uh, so as you can see it's written 2 in 1 but this means uh, that kit includes uh, two versions not two kits. So here you can see comparison with my hand. Well, box is I would say average inside. Uh, in size. Uh, also we have here some features mentioned. Uh, so the kit features four types of markings, P and clear parts included. Also there are two types of tires and optional parts for different versions of this vehicle. Uh, wheels can be steered together like on the real vehicle and also chassis uh, structure reproduced really carefully. And we would see it in the review. Uh, as you can see, box arrived to me slightly damaged, so it's even more interesting to see how it survived its trip from manufacturer to me. And also you can see here uh, several marking options and parts map. So, this is top opening box, that's what we have inside. Uh, 10 color plastic parts, just give me a second to open first one. Okay, so the first bag contains hull parts and turret part. Here you can see them. I would focus the camera and now you see them. So here is the R. Just give me a second to try to... Yes, it won't be possible because here are the uh, big plastic pins which you would have to cut. And only then you would have uh, like possibility to compile together these two halves. Nevertheless, as you can see, molding quality is quite nice. Some elements are molded in. And on the top of the hull, it's also quite nice detailization with the recess panel lines. And as you can see, some hatches might be open. And here is a turret, which also can be uh, assembled with open hatches. And I think the mantlet would be movable also. You would see it in the assembly manual. Next sprue is not big, but it contains very important parts, I would say, <coughs> for external detailization. For example, here I see several towing cables. Here you can see them. So they are provided in form of these nice plastic parts which look quite realistic and I have to say that with some careful painting you would get really convincing parts. And here you can see some other plastic elements. Let's move to the next part. Next is a transparent sprue, but here I would need a scissors. Because it's not an openable bag, it's a sealed bag. So I have to cut through the package. And on this end you would see how carefully I molded all those visors and headlamps and some other transparent elements of the model. Molding quality is really excellent. The only thing you would need is careful masking, I guess. Another plastic screw. This one contains turret parts and some of the hull parts. Note that turret will be fixed with the help of these two tabs. And there is nothing inside. Nevertheless, digitalization is quite nice, so when you open the hatches, that's what would be visible. Uh, outside. Another small plastic sprue which contains a uh, towing cable. And again towing cable looks really nice. Here you can see it. 
so I guess it would be even more convincing in the painted and assembled state. That's a big screw which contains plenty of various parts. Here you can see them. I guess this would go for the suspension and for the external digitalization. All parts are carefully molded so there is no flash, no any other mo possible molding problem. The only thing you would need to do is carefully separate these parts because as you can see some of them are quite tight. Next we have two similar screws and as you can guess those parts would go for the suspension and uh, chassis. So give me a second to get one because there is no need to check them both. They are absolutely similar and there are no differences between them. Okay, so here what we have. Uh, separately molded wheel rims, also separately molded uh, suspension elements. Here you can see wheel bars, everything. The only sad thing here is that uh, all this detailization won't be visible unless you position your model in some really special, I would say, pose. Otherwise it will be hidden under the vehicle. Also we have here two types of the tires. Here you can see that they have different patterns and also they are different in the size. These are typical vinyl tires, nevertheless they feature uh, some writings on the walls as you can see here. And they look more or less good. I don't see um, molding seam here in the middle, nevertheless here you can see slight seam which would require some uh, careful sanding I would say just to make them look a bit more realistic. So, and of course there are uh, eight wheels of each type. Next we have assembly manual which is packed together with P, fret, decal sheet and also some other minor parts. Just give me a second to open it. Okay, so here we have it. Here are those minor parts which I mentioned. As you can see we have here uh, springs, metal springs and also polycaps for the movable parts I guess. Then we have um, PE thread which is molded in quite interesting green color. Uh, but we can say it's unpainted because anyway you would have to cover it with primer and paint. And molding quality as you can see is quite nice so no complaints here. Next we have a uh, decal sheet. Decal sheet is printed in Tacom itself I guess because there is no clear mention where it was made. Just give me a second to open the back. Okay, so here we have it. Oops. Here it is, uh, several types of the number plates, as I said in the beginning there would be four marking options, so as you can see they look quite nice. Next we have uh, painting and marking guides which are printed on the separate uh, gloss paper sheets, and as you can see they look quite nice, they feature uh, paint numbers in MIG paint range. And here you can see them. So several green vehicles and several camouflaged vehicles. I guess it's quite a nice choice to choose from. Also we have here I guess uh, yes here are some corrections for the assembly manual which are printed on the separate paper sheet. And of course assembly manual. Assembly manual is finished in form of this nice uh, black and white brochure. So as you can see there is short history of the real vehicle on the first page. Then there is special thanks. Then we have some advices on how to apply decals and uh, use PE parts. 
parts map here and assembly process starts. Of course I would take photos of this uh, manual so that you can check how this vehicle is assembled and what you would get in the final. Here are some other models and in the end just some schematic view so that you can imagine how it will be detailed uh, in the bottom. So that's all for this kit. Uh, don't forget to check full review on our website and as usual I would like to advise you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our Facebook group. Thank you for watching and see you soon.